is really the truth. Obedience to God is what we're predestined to. We trust Him, we obey Him, we move on. We take no thought for our life. All right, let me get me a drink. That's spelled D-R-A-N-K, drink of water. I'll be right back. Sometimes I'll pass a little information to you. It won't hurt, will it? Will it? <laughs> okay. Alexander Egypt, named after Alexander the Great. And that was kind of, most people have tried to claim that that's where all mathematics and a lot of people try to claim that's where a lot of the sciences began but most of them began up here in Greece. Alexander was an educational, Alexander Egypt, and an an educational center. Remember, that was where uh, the, uh, well, I'm trying to think of it, where they dug up some of the uh, uh, Westcott and Hort texts was, the Alexandrian text. It was the Codex Aleph, uh, uh, Codex Beth. The uh, Westcott and Hort text, part of it was from here and part of it from Rome. Remember the Westcott and Hort we talked about so many times? Anyway, now, we always start by reading to you uh, our emails that we get from around the country and around the world, these are some of these people like us and some of them don't. I talked to Robert Breshnahan in Florida the other day. He used to be a part of our ministry some years ago, but he said, I still watch you on the Internet. So, uh, Robert, we love you. Keep watching, and we'll fellowship along the way. And... He writes to us, I know you preach on the symbol of the fish, but I am unable to find the DVD. Could you help me with the meaning? Robert Breshnan in Florida. Of course, the Roman Catholics identify Friday with fish day, and they eat, they don't eat meat on Friday, they eat fish. And that's because Freya, F R E Y A, Freya, Friday is named after Freya. Free is one of their gods, F-R-E-Y-A, E-Y-A, F-R-E-I-Y-A. And Freya was one of their fish gods and was identified with Venus. So Friday is actually Venus Day in the Catholic Church. And among the Jews, the fish was the person that would inherit the kingdom because the, the, the baby was in the womb of the woman for 40 sevens, 40 weeks. And uh, so they said since the, it was in the womb for 40 sevens that they called that the fish. The air was the fish. And remember over there in the 8th chapter of Romans, uh, Paul said we are joint heirs with Christ. You could say we're joint fish with Christ because joint heirs is sun kleronomoi, S-U-G-K-L-E-R-O-N-O-M-O-I. And in gematria, that you take the sigma and the upsilon and so forth and get their value on all this, 
it adds up to 1,071, which is seven times 153. When Jesus was resurrected from the dead in John 21, John 21, he went out and found the apostles fishing, and uh, they brought in 153 fish, pulled them in in the net, and there were seven men fishing out there that day. And I love teaching on that. They called the heir of the kingdom among the Jews the fish. And they adapted that in Christianity to be the heir. So Roman Catholicism or paganism had their version and we had our version. Hope that'll help, Robert. We'll get you some more of those tapes. Uh, Wally Stalk uh, writes from Kilgore, Texas. You guys are my family now. We're good. We appreciate that. Mine have just about all left me standing up for what you believe you know is right it's hard but it's correct that's exactly right it is extremely difficult on the person it's hard on me i think people think well you you're strong you don't need anybody standing with you i need everybody standing with me i was real close to most of my family members and and it's hurt me as much as it has anybody. I think people think, well, you don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. It hurts when I stand. Dear Pastor Jim, this is from Annie Mae in Virginia. Do you think it's better not to vote at all? Yes. I'm not voting for anybody ever again. They bring out snakes and crocodiles and alligators and say, vote for one of these. Why? They're going to do what they want to anyway. Do you think it's better not to vote or to vote or not to vote at all. I have voted in every election since I was old enough to vote. Well, you have to go by your conviction. I'm never voting for these sleazy people again. I'm sad because I disagree with almost everyone in my immediate family about who is the best candidate. There is no best candidate. <laughs> it's kind of like, say, which one of these 15-foot uh, diamondback rattlesnakes do you like? Uh, there's one over there, and here's one over here, and they're coiled, both of them. I don't like either one of them. Please comment if you think this is appropriate. Thanks so much, Annie Mae in Virginia. Well, first of all, democracy is evil, and so is capitalism. I told that to a lawyer here in town one time, and he said, I said, Carl, democracy and capitalism are evil. He said, well, certainly it is. That's what my business is about, <laughs> suing people. And... Uh, Democracy comes from demo, kratia. And it means strength of the people. It's the people. When you vote, you vote God out every time. Vote God's principles out and vote yourself in. And capitalism means to distribute the fortunes more of railroads and companies and so forth to the individual. Capitalism has the same exact meaning as demon. What do we need? Well, we need the, not a, the theocracy. I told a guy one day we need the theocracy. He said, we, well, they got one over there in Islam. I said, no, they don't. They have a theocracy. The theocracy, theos, is the word God, God, and kratia means God is the strength in our system. I believe in God ruling from this book here. I'm not voting for any of these guys ever again. Whoever came up and said, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. Yes, you do. I paid my taxes. What do you mean? <clears throat> March out two morons and say vote for one of them. <laughs> and we're supposed to vote for them? There is no choice in that. I quit voting years ago. I don't like people that cheat and lie and steal, and they all do. We've had 
We had a guy used to come here. He said he was a guard in the White House in Reagan's administration. He said Reagan cussed. They all cussed. Uh, but he was a Christian. He said they all cussed in the White House, told dirty jokes. <laughs> you mean you can say Jesus and that makes you a Christian? Now, if Reagan would cuss, claim to be a Christian, we know all the others cussed up a storm. Nixon cussed the blue streak. He said, so did uh, Powell. What's his name? Colin huh? Colin Powell. Go, Colin Powell. He said, they all get in a car and just, boy, it's flying. I don't like people like that. Uh, John Aurora writes, hey, John, how you doing, brother? Uh, love John. Hello, all at Grace and Truth. Have you hope you continue in the world where I thank God for everything. We had fellowship Saturday night, knowing that some of our brothers and sisters would be preoccupied with food and fellowship at the annual G and T Chili Cookout. Not able to sit in on our Skype fellowship. Nevertheless, we continued studying and <clears throat> were glad to see some cookout attendees stop by to say hello. Stovers minus seven children were able to keep their surprise a secret and make the trip to Tennessee. Can't wait to see the video that Tommy made of the gathering. We thank Tom, the squirrel whisperer, I don't know what that is, <laughs> for hoping, helping to edit the video. We are <clears throat> truly blessed to be a part of this fellowship. Thank God he has allowed us to live in his word and take solace in each other's company. God willing, we will continue in this way. Grace and peace to you all. Agape, John New Roar up in Staten Island, New York. We love you, John. Keep on keeping on, brother. Well, sometimes it's difficult, but what we got to do. Uh, uh, I don't know if I need to re read this. I got to read a little of it first. Here, I got something else I can read. Uh, YouTube comment. Uh, Doctor of the devil, why Jesus called down the Pharisees and why the Pharisees wanted to kill him. From Roger G. Jim, you said Jesus is Jehovah God. I didn't say he was Jehovah. He said he was Jehovah. It was Jehovah God that sent Moses to Pharaoh to tell him, let my people go. And, and Moses said, but what if the people say, what is his name? And the Lord says, you tell them, I am hath sent you unto me. Well, Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. He was saying, I am the Jehovah God of the Old Testament. No man has seen God the Father at any time, but we've seen Jesus. Moses saw the backside of Jesus before he was called Jesus. Uh, Abraham saw Jesus. He told the Pharisees before Abraham was, I am. They said, you're not 50 years old. How can you have seen Abraham? He said, before Abraham was, I am. He was saying, I am the Jehovah of the Old Testament. Jehovah means self-existent. To exist means to be or to exist. Am is a form of the verb to be. I am. Jesus said he was Jehovah of the Old Testament. All right. Don't be so corrective every time you write, Roger. Sometimes you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not mad at you. Just ask me rather than write me and correct me. Uh, comment on devil's doctrine, why Jesus called down the Pharisees and why the Pharisees wanted to kill him. Roger G. Jim, keep bringing down the preachers that twist the truth. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. And then... Uh, a comment on millennium is 2,000, not a 1,000 years where two or three are gathered together. <laughs> I'll go into, this is a long explanation. ABJ commented, amazing, Greek language helps so much. I have not seen so many people getting so close to real knowledge of the truth. Everything you say fits and does align the Bible verses with present day world history, and so much more. There is a lost world civilization which had the knowledge written in solid gold. You, us people can not know about it. Only those dinosaurs of science 
or academic people, Muslim or Chinese, are the same like the U.S., being fed with fairy tales, only modern man interprets Greek mythology and religion as polytheist religion. That was the time not even the Messiah wasn't foretold. Greeks do not attribute their religion to themselves. They explain exactly that they come from the northern lands of the lower Oceanos, uh, Potamos, River Styx, Danube. I don't know what all that means. I know where the Danube is. Styx is a mythological river. Uh, S. Templer writes, uh, comments on Hebrews and Revelation, seven candlesticks, the eyes of the Lord, the seven churches, the oil, olive oil is the Holy Spirit. S. Templer commented, thank you, Jim, for teaching the word. Thank you for your comment. And then I got... <clears throat> Let me put this over here. And I got Robin Hopkins. I think that's... No, I'll read that in later. All right. Then... Uh, Scott Worry, our missionary in Ecuador, writes to us. Hello, Jim, Mary, and all at Grace and Truth. Greetings from Ecuador. We hope that this letter finds you all struggling along the narrow path. Things in Ecuador have been going just as God has planned. We have a congregation that attends services rather sporadically, well, us too, so it has been hard to notify everyone at our recent decision to return to the states i wanted to tell everyone face to face as opposed to over the phone or through a message so it took a little longer last week we finally told the last woman who had been in another part of the country for the past month she is one of the only people that was visibly bothered by the news a few people were sad but most just looked took it in the stride I'm about halfway through the Spirits in Prison series. I hope to finish things up in early December and then get into a few last teachings on Christmas. I look forward to starting a new series when we arrive in the States in February. I continue to receive a strong response online and have even begun investigating ways to improve our presence on the Internet to reach more people. Our YouTube channel just passed 1,000 subscribers and continues to grow. I got an email from a man the other day thanking me for my peculiar style of teaching. It, it is always nice to hear a word of encouragement amongst all the other folks that are calling me a sect or a heretic and everything else. We are enjoying the last few months God has given us in Ecuador and are very much looking forward to seeing all of you in February. I'm hoping that the cold weather might help clear up this eczema that I've been battling for the past couple of years, but I know that is too is the will of God, and I am thankful for it. We remain grateful for all your support and prayers, your family in Christ, the worries. Um, not worries, worries. <laughs> I'll start calling you Scott Worry. No, that's one thing he don't do. Don't worry. All right, that'll be enough reading. All right. Now, let me make some announcements, and we will get on with the program. We, we're on TV every week, Monday through Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Uh, we're coming on in just a few minutes here. And uh, not live, of course. We're on channel 49 in Nashville, uh, six nights a week, Monday through Saturday. We're also on Friday and Saturday morning, channel 49, Comcast. And uh, that's on channel 49 at, eight, at 9 a.m. And then if you live in Hendersonville, we're on channel 3, Tuesday evening at 5 and Thursday night at 7. Remember our needy people. We got a ton of needy people. 
if I had a million dollars, I could spread it out for all the things and the people we need that are in need. Uh, just uh, if you want to help these folks, they're believers, they're people that love the truth, and uh, make your check to Grace and Truth and put needy on the bottom of that check. And uh, <coughs> and uh, we also, and, and these people need us. They need us greatly. Uh, and if you want to send a gift card, that's acceptable too. And uh, we support Scott and Delilah. They're coming back up here. They're going to move their operation here and work out of here and be on the Internet around the world. Uh, I imagine Scott will be working a job of some kind. He'll have to in order to make a living. And it uh, doesn't take near as much in Ecuador as it does up here, but he makes, he'll makes he make more money up here than he will down there. So just be aware of this, and uh, he's going to continue his, uh, his speaking in Spanish, Spanish preaching, preaching this message on the Internet throughout the world. So if you want to help them, make their check out to Grace and Truth and just put Ecuador on the bottom of it or Mission on the bottom of it. He's not going to stop the mission work just because it's coming up here. And then uh, we don't have any other picnics or anything coming up. So uh, I guess that's all my announcements. I feel like I'm being cut off too soon. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Mike, pray for us, would you please? Heavenly Father, we thank you once again that you've given us the privilege to come and listen to your word. Uh, we pray that you would strengthen us and look, that you continue to strengthen and comfort us in it. Uh, strengthen those who are struggling with with the life that you avoid their way. We know that uh, you promised not to give us anything that uh, you wouldn't give us a way out or, or strengthen us to endure. We know we're being conformed to Christ and the fire is hot, but uh, you, the day will come where all things will be made known and we will know your great purpose. And your name will be glorified in it. Once again, for this day, we look forward to what you would do for us tomorrow. We give you praise in all things in Christ's name.